with me not having. <laughs> okay, alrighty. <laughs> Yo, puppies. They're getting big. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. So you just saw us put a load of Christmas cards up on our wall. All of you all have been sending them in, and we cannot be thankful enough for you all. We love seeing the wall colored up like that. There's still time. If you still want to send us Christmas cards, send them away to our P.O. box. It's always linked down below. Uh, we just absolutely love that. Dolly's been doing great as a mama. Um, the babies are starting to get big. We let we let, them out, let her out and stretch her legs every day. Um, she didn't like using the bathroom in there either, so we let her get out, let her have some fun, let her play, and then she goes back in and hangs out with the babies, but everybody's doing great. Also, in other news, our baby goat's doing great too. Butters is up there with her. They're both playing down. About to give him a little hay. We just, this is so many babies, that poor little baby goat. We had these puppies come and everybody's like, oh yeah, we have a baby goat too. But she's doing great. They're enjoying this nice sun, doing a little sunbathing. But right now, I need to feed them a little hay. enjoying their hay. I always use it in the trough, but I throw just a little bit on the other side just because we got some big animals here. And that way, some of the smaller ones are able to go there without having to have competition getting their hay. But what you came here for for this video is about that right there. Our cottage, our Airbnb, and the changes that needed to be made. So our Airbnb, <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Our Airbnb slash cottage, the second home on our property, um, is no longer an Airbnb. I know, sad, uh, this is the second route of that, um, but there's another good reason for it. Um, there is somebody else that has moved into it and it was the right decision to make. Um, it's one of those that Jen and I don't take lightly. You know, it's big decisions, big stuff. The Airbnb was quite an income for us, um, and especially with me not having a job. These turkeys are right here. There's a fence between us. But... Could y'all go on? It was a good, you know, without... I'm gonna have to move, maybe, let's see. With me not having, okay, all righty. <laughs> Y'all made that very difficult. All right, had to find somewhere a little bit more peaceful on the farm. Some of the chickens still followed me, one of the roosters, so it may be in the background, but at least we won't have the turkeys. Let's start over. So we have shut down the Airbnb and y'all know that's a big deal because I no longer have a full-time, you know, paycheck job. 
Um, we work com solely on our own, self-employed. <laughs> And the cottage was one of our incomes. It was an Airbnb that brought in money to us that helped out the farm quite a bit. And it allowed us to uh, show off our farm and talk about it and let people learn more about the farms. And, and to a certain extent, that's not over because we still have our store and we still have plans on doing things more on this property. But we had to do a change. We had to do this because it was the right thing to do. So stick with me for just about a minute. I gotta give you a little bit of backstory because a lot of y'all came onto the channel in different time frames. Maybe you don't know the whole shebang and all the stuff that went down. So over three years ago, October of 2020, um, is when we moved to this property. We moved to this property ultimately because my uh, stepfather, my father, he, uh, he passed away unexpectedly. That forced my mom to sell uh, her property, which is where we had our house at. Um, Jed, Jen's brother, my brother-in-law also had a little off-grid house that was right beside ours, all on the same property. So that was three total families that had to up and move. Jed and Jen's parents, um, Grammy Karen, which some of y'all are very familiar with, and Graybeard, they lived just a quarter of a mile down the road from us. Well, we all had to move, so they moved too. So four families all moved at the same time to different areas, um, all at the same time frame. This was huge for us. It was a big, big, big deal because most all of us have been there our whole lives. Um, you know, when I say whole lives, maybe from 10 on, 12 on kind of thing. But it's been a long time. We're talking 30 plus years that all of us were right in the same area. So that move was big. Well, Jed specifically didn't really have anywhere to go. So we opened up our basement. Now our basement's unfinished. It, it was not a place for someone to live full time because you know, you just don't wanna live in an unfinished basement that long. Um, but he moved in and he was living in our basement. So that is how we all kind of got on this property. And then as time went on, Grammy Karen, they live about 50 minutes from us. So that's no, not a problem. You know, we're all still close. That one stayed the same. My mom lived in West Liberty, Kentucky, which was about two, two and a half hours from here. Um, and she was trying to figure out stuff too, being, being widowed and trying to figure out life. And so we opened the doors for my mom and Jen's aunt Patty to live in our cottage. That's what, when we shut down the Airbnb the first time. They lived there for about a year, decided that they wanted to move back to our hometown of Frankfurt, which is totally understandable, I get it. Um, and that allowed us to open the Airbnb back up. Well, we still had one thing that needed to be resolved for the better. But before we get to that, I did want to express, you know, we, like we hired my mom, Jed's been working for us for a while. We, we don't charge Jed any rent whatsoever because it's an unfinished basement. He, there's nothing that he charges for. And then we pay him weekly to be an employee on the farm. So he gets, we get, he gets payment from us and then he had a free place to stay kind of thing. So it, it's just, we have it, right? So we, we shouldn't be greedy and say, no, you can't do this. Well, as time has progressed, um, three years in an unfinished basement is just, it's too long. Um, it's a lot for our relationship because, you know, Jen and I, we, it's me, her and the kids, and then just having another adult in there in our house, um, was a lot. Now, Jed was never a problem. He was never a bother whatsoever. It's just physically having your, you know, in Jen's standpoint, her brother, my brother-in-law living in our basement. Uh, after a while that starts, that can wear on you. That can add stress. That can add anxiety. That can add like what? When does this end? Because part of us in our head had this feature that the kid, Raylan would have the upstairs and then we could work on finishing the downstairs and that could be why it's as they get older and get in teenage years and need a little bit more space to move around. And then, you know, why turned 10 this year, he's going on 11, Raylan turned eight this year, she's going on nine. It's like, okay, we got some work to do and time's starting to tick. Well, Jen and I ba ba bounced back and forth on this decision. Um, but we decided to open up the Airbnb in the cottage for Jed to give him a place to be, a place to have um, that doesn't hurt us in too much of a sense besides the Airbnb, but I know that he's going to help us do more in the store. He's gonna take on a few more efforts to kind of repay that, I guess one could say. Um, but Jed is now living in the cottage and we're excited for him. We're excited for him to have his own space because it's tough on him too. It's tough to be in an unfinished basement. But in the economy that we're in, you know, it was tough for him to get, to find something to make enough money to go rent a place or do whatever it is. So Jen and I having a second house, it's like, it's silly 
to, to keep him down in the basement. If he's not gonna be able to move out, let's just give it to him. Let's give him his space. That gives us at least the space of us having our own homes and we're not you know, walking on each other's feet or whatever it may be. And so it was just the right thing for her and I to do to let him have the, the cottage. So I'm sorry if you were planning on a vacation down here and you wanted to stay at our cottage, it is no longer available on Airbnb. It's no longer listed. Um, there wasn't but maybe one booking, I think, for next year at all um, so far. So we got that one refunded and everything's fine. Um, but it is officially closed down. I don't know, I, Jen and I specifically, like we want to give. We want to give. If we have it, we want to give. We'll give you the shirt off our back. Um, and we just like to see it in return kind of thing. Like we, we don't ever want to feel, I guess, like taken advantage of. And we know that Jed would not do that. So we know that he's grateful for the Airbnb. If, you know, his channel's linked down below if you want to go check it out. He does a lot of cave diving and different stuff like that. He goes find abandoned places. Uh, really cool channel. But uh, he might talk about it. I don't know. Uh, that's completely up to him. Um, but I know he's very grateful and Jen and I love to just share what we have because what we had before was a compound that we love so much. We loved it. And we've been trying to make that work here. And I think all of us, like all four, I'm going to say families, but all four households that were, you know, basically had to up and move quickly. Um, we were all just living in the moment and we were having to make decisions that had to be made. And then once we all finally got settled, I think we're all still like three years later trying to figure out who we are and what our new life is and what everything about this life is right and wrong and who we are, I guess is the most important question. Like trying to still figure out who we are. And so that has kind of stalled a lot of the progression of, you know, being better because you're still trying to recognize who is the new Zach down here in the Appalachian mountains. I'm no longer in the capital of Kentucky, a little bit out in the country. They're like, this is different. And so, as we're all doing that, we're just trying to make the right decisions and trying to do good for our family members and just make sure that we're doing the right thing. And a lot of that takes on reflection, sitting down, talking about it. And that's where we are today. You know, I, I, I pray that this is good for him, that it, you know, maybe kind of helps him figure out who he is in this new area. Um, just all that good stuff allows Jen and I to, you know, be able to focus more on just our family, um, being that, you know, it's just us in the house now and just all good things. That's the goal here. I am very excited for him to start helping out in the store because, you know, most of our time is just committed to filling orders. Hashtag blessed. So happy about that. I'm glad that you all are ordering so much that we are staying that busy, but it does stop, you know, me from cleaning the garden out because it needs to be clean right now. Um, or like getting this cat, these cattle panels down and from when we had the cows, this was my, uh, makeshift corral that I did, but it hasn't been touched uh, because, you know, the days are shorter. By the time we're done with orders, it's starting to get dark. It's time for dinner. You know how it goes. So I'm excited for him to take that on. I'm hoping that helps us do a little bit more, but I do think we're all like inching closer, inching closer um, to getting back to who we want to be and who we truly are. You know, over the past couple of weeks, if you've been catching our shorts or TikToks or reels or whatever they are, um, we've canned, Jen's canned over 18 quarts of broth. She's got over 18 quarts of uh, tomato juice she can. She's got sourdough bread in the oven right now. Like the things that we are good at and the things that we enjoy doing, we're getting back into that. And so I'm very, I'm seeing like that light at the end of the tunnel. And I know we've expressed some of our feelings on here quite often, but um, it's just a progression. It's a good progression. And for those of you that haven't maybe been around for the whole route, I like kind of bringing it up. It's good for me to talk about it. It's good for you to understand kind of who we are. So when you see other videos, you, you understand where it's coming from, if that makes sense. And that's that's important to have an understanding or a, uh, a background of what, why were we even here? Why have we gotten to this point? But the ultimate thing about this video is the Airbnb is no longer there, but it's for good reason. It's for a good thing, giving Jed a home to live in um, that he hasn't had for a long time. You know, I, I couldn't imagine having to live in that unfinished basement. He was grateful for that. But being able to have this boost of morale, in my opinion, I'm hoping is really good for everyone involved. And the biggest point is to just always give. Make sure that you continue to give if you can. Don't be greedy, stay humble, yourself and just continue to move forward trying to do the right thing at the right time to the best of your ability that's all we can do 
and y'all it's it's just we're getting in the heart of winter we got so much stuff coming up and getting going it's been a wild three weeks three weeks ago surprise baby goat last week surprise well not surprise puppies but puppies were burned this week everyone be shut down brother-in-law now lives in it it's been wild a lot of life-changing things a lot of active stuff that's happening and we're just going to continue to push forward fight forward keep our mind focused on the next gardening year because that's getting really close but other than that i think that's all i have for you today it's uh it's kind of nice being able to do like these little more talking showing kind of videos the long ones and then catching all the shorts that we do through the week of like this is how you do things i hope y'all are enjoying that we enjoy you all we appreciate the christmas cards we appreciate all the orders don't forget the black friday deal is still going on until december 20th that's 20 percent off yeah 20 percent off 25 dollars more 20 percent off and free shipping 50 dollars or more we love you all. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one. Bye.